Hello, my friends, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the chaos that is my life. Today, we're doing something really fun. We're gonna do a little unboxing and try on of a bunch of Givenchy makeup. What? Okay, so I will talk to you as I unbox. Basically, I am working on this project with them and I won't go into detail about what it is. I don't really know if I'm allowed to, but because of this project that I'm doing with them, they sent me a bunch of product. You guys know I'm obsessed with their powder. I think it's the best, where is it? The Prism Libre, also. This is what you get today. This is the appearance that you're getting from Sarah. Prism Libre, you guys know I'm obsessed with this powder. So I'm so excited to just be diving into a bunch of their new products. I tried their concealer, I love it, but we're just gonna use everything today. Let's just open up, let's dig in. I have two boxes. I am not worthy, let's start. Okay, so I'm really hoping there's like a foundation of some kind. They sent me a bunch of the different blush shades. You guys know how good the blushes are. I tried these on for you in another video. So let's try a different shade today. For starters, I just found this bomb, which is like a universal lip. Off to a hot start. Okay, we got it, here we go. This is a little universal lip balm. You guys know I love to prep the lips. Something like this. Mm, this feels so good. That feels luxe. So I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so it just like kind of clips in. This is a whole apparatus, but I need to like learn how to lock it <laughs> shut. Let's move on. Okay, so a lot of these say cream velvet on them. The question is, what is it? Okay, this is a lip. This sheer velvet could also be a lip. Rouge, rouge is blush. Nope, rouge is lipstick. <laughs> God, all this packaging is just so amazing. I also got these two lip balms that are a color. I'm putting those on later. Okay, we might not have a foundation, you guys. Okay, we have a highlighter, which is intriguing me. It says skin caring highlighter. Ooh, this is kind of like their same packaging as their concealer. So here's the concealer and here's the highlighter. That looks so pretty. So we don't have a base complexion pro product, which I need today because Mama's skin is just going through it. So I already put down my Tula face filter and my eye cream from, this is not my best practice. Let's just do one pump of that. I'm sorry, my eye cream from First Aid Beauty. So we're just gonna do a pump of that and then a pump of my Say. Let's just quickly buff this into the skin so we have a base down. Look who came to see us today, gorgeous. Gorgeous. This makeup just deserves a little foundation down, a little base, a little skin love. I need to buy some lights, guys. My lights are so old. They're from when I started my YouTube channel in 2016. So I'm gonna buy some lights this week so that this lighting situation is better because I know this side of my face is so dark and my window is right here and it's just not ideal. I could probably turn you, hold on. This feels better, yeah? I think the light is better for you guys. But this is just natural light in front of my window, baby, nothing else. So we'll really see how these products show up today. You know what else I didn't see? I didn't see a bronzer, but we might have one. Okay, so I have this concealer in three shades. The shade that I've used already is C180. It feels like the perfect, very light pink undertone concealer, but I think for coverage on my face, I'm gonna do the darker shade, which is N280, because we did so little foundation and I'm having some issues. I don't wanna do my lighter concealer on my face and on my literal neck pimples, like what? And like redness. I just wanna be using like a more skin colored option. This concealer is so freaking creamy though, you guys. Yeah, this color is perfect. And let's just lightly. Ooh, that worked well. Let's just lightly, lightly, lightly press that in. And then, yeah, like I said, I did not see a bronzer. So I'm gonna pop on some bronzer really quick and we'll come back for concealer under eyes. Bronzer is on. I used Makeup by Mario Light Medium. It's really subtle, but it definitely gives the skin a little color. And now we're going to sculpt with my concealer. Again, I'm using C180. And this stuff is so creamy and it's also a little bit goes a long way. Should we zoom you in a little bit more? Let's really expose myself today. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little, is this the color? I love how big the applicator is too. A small concealer applicator annoys me. I'm just gonna highlight and sculpt. Okay, boom. And then we're just gonna lightly watch this melt into 
the under eye and into the skin. Do you see that? God, it's so pretty and it's so hydrating and creamy. It's honestly, you know what it reminds me of? It's like a combo of the Hourglass Concealer and, and the Giorgio Armani. Like I feel like it gives me the creaminess of the Giorgio Armani, but the coverage of the Hourglass, but without the like sometimes dryness of the Hourglass and a little more coverage and glowy. Well, just a little more coverage than Giorgio Armani. Cause Giorgio Armani is really nice and creamy. I just don't get as much coverage with it. This one is like velvet. Isn't that so good? Okay, I just added a light cause I felt like it was looking very cool and it wasn't truly how I'm looking right now. Hopefully this is better. Sorry, I'm such a rookie today. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna do my favorite powder. So this is the Givenchy Prison Lieb powder. I've been saying it wrong. I learned that um, in the, in the, while I was working on the project that I'm working on for them. It's Prison Lieb, not Prison Libre. Um, I'm not French, even though my last name is. Uh, so this is the shade Voila Rose. It's the pink shade. It basically has four different quadrants. All the colors mixed together. There's two colors for brightening and two for, I wanna say setting or mattifying or illuminating. Um, but basically they all work together beautifully. So you're gonna, you're about to watch my skin be airbrushed. My skin is actually a lot more dry today than it usually is. Usually at this point I am like an oil spill, but you can see I'm still quite shiny. So you're gonna want a powder puff for this. I have these on Amazon if you guys want to grab them. And I put it in my cap and then I tap it all over kind of like the tip, the upper third of the puff. See that? I will tap off excess on my wrist so that it's all kind of pressed in really well to the puff and then we begin. So I press, make sure there's no creases that you have under your eyes before you do this, but press, look at that. Look at that. Look at the before and look at the after, just the under eye. It's literal magic, shakes me to my core every time. Sometimes I wanna get a little bit more. You don't need it, but just to make sure that I'm coated. And I'm telling you guys, this stuff, like your makeup will not move and you will get such compliments on your skin. So I'm just pressing and pulling that out, boom. And you can like bake with this and let it sit. I personally don't need to, it just depends on your skin type. Any excess that I have here, I'm gonna hit where I get the most oily, like where I get those, look at that. Um, shiny spots, which is my chin right here. This part of my mouth, like my, those smile lines always get it. And then set your pimples in place so that that makeup doesn't move. And then I'll just kind of do here. You can carve out, let's do that. Why not? This is a Givenchy video, why not? So any more, a little more powder, any excess that's in the cap, you could obviously go in for more, but I like to carve out underneath that bronzer and it's gonna give again just like a more sculpted face i'm gonna be careful on this side because of my little pimple but see how that just defines the face it gives me a much more defined cheekbone and everything and it just sets and yeah i just use the excess to basically do the rest of my face and then like i said i'm not gonna let that sit for long let's dust it away and let's really see the magic this is just one of my amazon brushes I mean, it was crazy. Like my skin really changed when I turned 30. Oh, I forgot to do my eyelids, but it's fine. Excess with the brush is fine. And to the point where like I needed a powder like this and my skin texture just changed. And especially after I had Logan, my skin got really oily in combination. I used to be so dry. So everything changed. And when I found this powder, I was like, finally, my skin looks so much better than it had. Like makeup just wasn't working the same. You know, our skin changes really often, but like, look at that. It is airbrushed and you saw my face before. Okay. I exposed myself to you guys today because I don't care. I know you won't judge me. It's really amazing. So I'm going to go on top with some bronzer. So we're going to do some Charlotte bronzer on top. I really wish, really wish they sent me their bronzer and their foundation, but we'll get that. We'll get that one day peeps. So just a little bit of my Charlotte bronzer in the shade two. This is just going to like bring that warmth a little, more since my face is set with that powder this goes on like 
silk on top it's just kind of like bringing out what we already put down with that contour but the contour is like much more neutral and cool and this is a little bit warmer it has like a slight red undertone and it's just gonna like warm everything up so that we're not you know colorless and just wait for the blush i'm so excited to try out this other shade boom okay let's do blush i'm obsessed with the blush i did a video on it i had the shade one it's so pretty it's like a purpley pinky blush probably my favorite shade let's open up two and four and then we'll decide together okay this is two it looks oh just look at this guys this is so satisfying look how gorgeous it's just really another level and then this is my favorite thing to do if i was good at like asmr crisp fresh new and you can see the little logo on the inside okay so this is more of like a i really like this color these colors there's some purple in there it's called taffeta's rose but it's definitely more of like a peachy red i think this is gonna be gorgeous for fall um i have a feeling four is gonna be even darker and one is a really good summer shade summer spring Okay, yeah, oh, this is pretty. This is gonna be good on deeper skin tones too. So this is for Organza Sienna. But honestly, don't be afraid to try a shade like this, even if you're my skin tone. Like hold it up to your skin and be like, does it work? I feel like it works. But I think we're gonna try the other one. Maybe we'll pop this one on top. I don't know, maybe we'll make another video trying out more. So let's do number two, right? Two? Two, 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 two. What I love about, one of the many things I love about this blush is you can be really liberal with it. Not in like a wasting, like you need a lot kind of way, but in a, you don't have to be scared of it kind of way. Okay, so that's what all the colors look like together. I'm gonna use that same, actually, yeah. I love this brush for blush. I'm gonna use that same brush I was using to set. Just tap, like coating the brush with this. We have a ton of excess. And we're just gonna go boom right on the face. It is the most stunning, natural, but like, hello, I'm so healthy. Have you ever seen someone healthier? But like, it doesn't even look like blush. And I mean that in the best way. Like you don't want your makeup to look like you're wearing makeup. You just wanna look good. You know what I mean? And that is what I love about this blush. I actually think I want to mix in my other color on top of this because I think it's going to be stunning. But look at that, you guys. Do you see what I mean by like effortlessly subtle? So stunning. My skin looks fake. This is not my skin. You guys saw my skin. Like the transformation is really ridiculous. It's so pretty. Like you can't even describe it until you see it. And especially when you see it on your own face, you're like, how, how? Okay, I wanna pop a little bit of this shade on top. So I think I like one, I don't even know if I wanna say I like one more. I think I'm gonna like the combo of these a lot, a lot. I like, I like them both probably equally. I think they both have their own place in my collection. Different needs for different days, for different vibes, different seasons, outfits, you get it. So here's that one in case you guys didn't see my other video. You can see it's much more of like a purpley undertone. The amount of things that I have stacked on top of each other balanced and open right here is just sickening. So here we go, let's do this. I don't know, something about the powder just smoking. I just love it. I live for this. <sighs> I hope it's coming across on camera. Also, the freaking luminosity with zero highlight on that this gives. I'm obsessed with this combo, oh my God. Because now it's turned into like really good for my coloring color but fall appropriate. It's not just like a super bright pink, purpley pink blush, you know what I mean? I am so happy they came out with blushes too. Like you guys know how obsessed I've been with that powder. So the fact that we have blushes, oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna do a really teeny, oh, actually they gave me a, they gave me an eyeliner. I was gonna say, I'm gonna do a really little shadow wing like I always do. Let's do the liner. It's a waterproof coal liner. Yes, it's a twist. The cap goes on the back. It's the little things, people. I'm telling you, I try a lot of products where I'm like, why? What was the thought? Okay, so let's just really lightly see how this smudges. It's definitely, this has gotta be black. Yeah, 01 black. It is so creamy. 
I'm just gonna grab my little tiny little angled guy and I'm just gonna flick this. See how smudgy we can be. It's smudgy for sure. Look at how I'm manipulating that. And I can just kind of like push it into that lash line. I'm also gonna do right here my waterline. It's gonna thicken up my lashes. Obsessed. God, it's good. It's a good day. It's a good day to have a good day, you know? Doing my makeup and just sitting down with you guys is literally the most therapeutic thing for me. It just puts me in the best mood. Look how that elongates my eye. It completely changes the shape of my eye. Wow, I really love this. I, it's hard, I am very picky on eyeliners. That's why I usually use shadows because it's rare to find a liner that does this as well. But I like liners better because they're more pigmented. So I get like a darker payoff usually than like a brown eyeshadow, obviously. I'm so into that. We need to curl our lashes really quick. I don't see a mascara in the box. It's okay, we're gonna get it guys. We will get it one day. So we're just gonna pop on Say. If you've been watching my channel for the last, I don't know, couple months, you know I've been obsessed with this one. So we'll pop that on real quick. I think I'm just gonna do top lashes today. I did curl my lashes off camera and I'm telling you, if you are skipping that step, you are doing yourself a big disservice because it opens your eyes. I didn't do it for so many years. Like I was like, I don't need that. I have really long lashes, it's not necessary, but it shapes them and opens your eyes in a way that like, it doesn't matter what type of eyelash you have. Like it, it helps. Even if you don't put mascara on and you just curl your lashes, especially if you have dark lashes already, it'll make a difference in like how your face looks. I love this mascara I always talk about because of this little, this, see the top? It allows me to get in to these lashes and really coat them and pull them inward and like direct the lashes exactly where I want them to go. It's amazing, especially on the lower lash line too, but really on the inner corner. Okay, not the point of this video, Sarah. Let's do a lip. I'm so excited. I'm not even doing my hair today, you guys. I don't care. It's all about the face. Look at what I accidentally opened up off camera that I'm really sorry about. Look, it's a velvet component. And then look at this lipstick. I mean, if that is not the most beautiful freaking color, but I need a lip liner on first. Okay, so this is the shade 10. It's the Le Rouge Sheer Velvet. I'm so excited to see like what this formula is gonna be. Here's another one. Oh, I mean, okay, wait, these might be the same. Or it's just a different color. Okay, this is 27, but same packaging, darker, more of a red. Ooh, that's gonna be a great holiday red if you're looking for one. Let's pop on a quick, quick liner and let's see how this looks on our lips. They also sent me some liquids. So I'm like torn, like cream velvet. This is a cream velvet and it looks like a nice nude. Maybe we'll put them on together. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna do MAC. This will come out, I need to sharpen this. Okay, I found my sharpener. This is MAC Oak. It looks like this. It's more of like a brown than anything else. But I just wanna like really lightly define because we're putting lipstick on, which I don't normally do. So I'm just gonna hit like underneath. See how it just defines it? Like it's very subtle, but it makes such a difference. And then let's do the top, Cupid's bow. Okay, but I just remembered they also sent me those glosses. So I'm like, what is a girl supposed to do? I might do a little of the lipstick and then a little bit of the gloss on top. Oh, okay, so these are kind of like the, um, I'm not, I'm not gonna get the name right, but like, look at how pretty these are. So these are the Rose Perfecto. Look at this, oh, this looks so creamy and good. We need a little lipstick on first. We have to try that lipstick, it was too pretty. Okay, here we go, 10, this one, Ooh, here we go. That is such a good nude, oh my God. It's really, really neutral. And for my coloring, it's really hard because if I have too orange of a nude, I hate it. Oh, this is pretty. What do you guys think of that? It feels so comfortable on my lips too. That's a great fall nude, wow. All right, I have to put I think this on top is really gonna finish it off for me because I don't love a completely matte lip, but this doesn't feel matte. It feels creamy. I think it's more of a velvet. Okay, we're putting this on top. We don't know what's gonna happen. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels good. 
Okay, that's giving it a slightly more pink color, but it's making it glossy, which like, it depends on your vibe. Like, what do you want? Who do you want to be today? You know, it feels amazing. I have nothing but good things to say about every single thing I tried. A lot of the product, ooh, does this have a tingle? A lot of the products that I used, I already knew I loved, but I just wanted to put them all on for you guys in a video. I Now I wish my hair was done because I feel like if my hair was done, this would look even better but it's not, and it's not gonna be today. But there's the Givenchy face, you guys. What do you think? So impressed, so freaking impressed. If there's other things from the brand you want me to try out, let me know. I have bronzer and mascara high up on the list. Maybe a lip liner could be fun, maybe a brow. Overall, 10 out of 10. Givenchy, we love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. Lots of holiday content coming up, lots of giveaways coming up. I also selected the giveaway winners of my last video. So if you haven't checked the comment section, check it because I actually picked three winners. So you're gonna have to DM me on Instagram to claim your prize. So go do that in case it's you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.